let's look at the grammar code G1C. Most subjects joined by and are plural. However, when the subjects are introduced by each or every, they are considered singular. Let's take a look at some examples. Administrators, teachers, and staff need to follow the same rule. Here we have multiple subjects, so the predicate is plural. But look at this next sentence. It begins with the word every, singling out each subject. Every administrator, teacher, and staff member needs to follow the same rules. Notice that this time, because of the word every, we're to treat the subject as singular. Let's do a little bit of practice. Circle the appropriate verb. On Wednesdays, it's our prep phrase, English and science are extended periods because we have two subjects. Second, Bob hand stuffed in his pocket, it's your absolute phrase, is our nervous. Bob is our singular subject, so the circle is. Number three, each rule and procedure needs to be followed. Here we have one subject because of the word each beginning the two subjects. It's a singular subject. Finally, number four, banana slices, whipped cream, and chocolate syrup mm -mm, make or makes a tasty dessert. Now here we have three different subjects, but this one is tricky because these three combined make one dessert. I'm going to circle the verb for singular, make, because we can treat these three subjects as really one dessert. But the main rule we want to focus on is most subjects joined by and are plural. However, when the subjects are introduced by each or every, they are considered singular.